So we buy our strawberry plants in, we get them as a bare root. So what that means is it's a small, we call them the baby plant or a daughter plant. It's about an inch tall and then it has about six inches of roots on the bottom. Of it. And actually it looks just like this. So this would be what we would plant. Um, we plant all these plants, we plant them individually. We have a, a machine that eight people sit on, plant by hand, 12,000 plants per acre. Um, and then we go through and about a month after they're planted, each plant has a blossom on it. That blossom will turn into a strawberry. The issue is we don't want it to grow a strawberry. We want it to fill in that row and produce lots of daughter plants because that's how they expand. So we go through and by hand a pair of scissors, clip off 60,000 uh, blossoms every year. Um, so as soon as we cut that blossom off, it basically tells the plant, all right, I have no more blossoms. I'm not going to take all this energy that I have in the crown of my plant that I've been storing all last year. I don't need to put it towards strawberries anymore. Now I can make daughter plants. So instead of making one daughter plant, maybe two, it's making three or four or five daughter plants. If you want to get yeah. it, you can see one right here. We've already come through and cut some of these off, or this is a runner with a daughter plant on it. And here's, I'll even dig another one out here. So you can see this line connects to the mother plant, which is over here, and then it has its own set of roots right here, and it grows. And then this is how it reproduces and it forces growth. So once we cut those blossoms off, the plant kicks into gear thinking, okay, the season's over, and it puts all its energy into making daughter plants to really fill in this row. But right now, in the last month to now, they're actually setting their fruit for next year. So we're really fine tuning things, we're watering them all the time. Even though there's not any fruit on them, we're still paying attention to them, still trying to make sure that we're they're all perfect so that next year, um, strawberries are the very first fruit in the year to, to ripen. So you don't have a whole lot of time next year to get things ready. You need to do that work the previous year. And then, you know, they're, they just don't do row. You can do it, obviously people do it. They have seeds in there, but it takes, it's a exceptionally longer process too to go from a seed to a viable plant.